Hello, my lovelies. I'm sitting in the car park at Sainsbury's. Engine's off, I'm not driving anywhere. I'm just taking this as the opportunity to chat because the house is quite busy today. Both the kids are off and Johnny's at home. So I thought <coughs> I'll sit in the relative peace and quiet of the Sainsbury's car park and have a say hello. I've got my sunnies on because, um, well, it's quite bright out today. These are new ones that have, have just arrived. I ordered them. I've only bought cheap ones because I break them so quickly, but they're a bit annoying because they keep sliding down my nose. So probably not last very long. Anyway, I've got them on because um, I woke up this morning with a horrific headache. Um, like the kind that feels like your brain's been clapped between two bricks. So I've drunk a lot of water, I take my pain relief and I've eaten and I've just nipped to Sainsbury's for one or two Easter essentials, things that we needed immediately, like hot cross buns and cat food. Because <laughs> apparently it's against the rules to ha to not have hot cross buns in the house at this time of year. So uh, I've just been and bought a couple of packs of those. Excuse me. Um, so yes, I'm going to head back home. I've got a little bit of tidying up and jobs to do, but I'm mainly going to take it steady because I think yesterday was quite a full on day and I didn't feel my greatest then. Uh, but mum and I took the kids to Bakewell for a day out and we had fish and chips and, and things. So um, I'm going to show you some footage of that now. And later on, I'll come in. I didn't film in any shops or anything because it was all a bit weird and chaotic. And I felt a bit spaced out and odd. Probably something to do with whatever it is that's causing this headache. Sorry, I keep looking behind me because cars keep coming round and distracting me. So I'll shut up now and enjoy the, it was lovely and sunny um, yesterday at Bakewell, but absolutely freezing cold wind. Um, so I wish I'd put something a bit warmer on really. Can never get it right this time of year. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Here I am vlogging in the dark again. <laughs> uh, I just thought I'd share these with some fabrics, um, some fat quarters that I bought yesterday in Bakewell. Uh, I thought you might like to see them. I think this will probably go into my spring quilt pile, which I haven't started yet. But it's that Japanese style fabric that's, it, you can't really tell, but it, those, it has got gold outlines on it. So that's very pretty. And then this one, which, I'm not sure what it is, but it really reminds me of early Kath Kidston. And that's really pretty. And then this one, which I just couldn't resist. Blackberries, acorns and toadstools. I mean, come on. And that's going to go into my autumn quilt. Isn't it pretty? 
Oh, I really love it. And these look like onions, but I think they're meant to be some kind of seed pod. The little berries. All very lovely. Yes. So that's what I bought. And the kids... Well, excuse me, the kids bought themselves some dream catchers. Um, and they got some teddies as well, which was really sweet. And I'll try and find them so I can show you the teddies tomorrow. I haven't vlogged loads today because... I've just been feeling generally a bit poo. <laughs> uh, well, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to have an early night and hopefully I'll feel more like it tomorrow. But I'm just going to listen to my audiobook for a little while and I'm going to work on this, which is a virus shawl. And I'm making this out of a magic knot ball, um, which I made with leftovers of the advent um, of the 2022 um, green lamb kin yarn advent so it starts up there and then works down so I'm just getting into the blues and then into the purples now so uh, it'll, it's nearly done it won't take long to use up that last bit the cake was massive big as your head kind of size when I first started and I just knotted it all together with magic knots as I went along I'm really looking forward to getting this blocked and this is a birthday present for an upcoming birthday gift um for someone who shall remain nameless so i'm just um gonna plod on and do i was working on this really um monogamously for ages and this is what i tend to do i get really close to the end of a project and then i just go oh, i'm bored now i'm just gonna go and do something else for a bit <laughs> so uh yeah i need to really get this done because i've got other exciting gift knitting to do I'll hopefully share more about that over the next couple of days. So I'm sorry it's been a bit uneventful and boring, but thank you for joining me and I will hopefully see you tomorrow.